Rooster Teeth podcast. I'm Eric. I'm Gavin. I'm Jessica. I'm Cole. And I'm Gus. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Gus isn't here. What? what? Neither is Barbara. <laughs> and, well, Cole can be fine. That's We have like a rotating fourth, typically. Mm. Um, Poor baby. So... Uh, you're stuck with this, and yeah. I'm sorry, We're but like the uh, B team, yeah, C team, we can be mad about team. stuff. Do you want to be mad about? Like, what are you mad about, Eric? Um, I'm mad about this mic stand. That, yeah. what, <laughs> what's there to be mad about? Because if I yell, it will probably collapse. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna yell, and then I realized that there's people it'll, wearing headphones. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's it'll, mean to yell into a mic. It'll likely collapse. It will collapse during this podcast. Um, I'm mad about that. People say that Speed Racer is a good movie. Copy That's, that. I'm Copy currently that. mad about that. Who's saying that? Internet. Why? Uh, because I think when you put eight years between yourself, not you, it's the royal you, between yourself and some kind of media that um, everyone at like Pitchfork or Vice wrote like negative articles about, mm -hmm. but those people don't work there anymore and new people kind of move in and they go like, actually, Speed Racer was a very good movie. And then that changes a discourse where people who are saying it was bad are now saying it's good, and that bothers me a lot. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. Have are you ever had a, I, an opinion change? No, no, no. <laughs> I have, but to the vitriol that it, it was expressed to Speed Racer at the time of its release, <laughs> to people going, actually, it's very good, bothers me to a huge degree. I think you're, are you just like tired of hearing people's opinions yeah, all I the time 24-7? Because <laughs> that's all it is. I think people have, I think... <laughs> People have too much to say. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all go around right. and talk about yeah. what we're mad about. You I can go next. <laughs> say a lot of things. They have a lot to say about Speed Racer. Um, and I think it's going to happen with... I think it'll happen on a faster cycle now uh, with stuff that... Pe like the Matrix, like the new Matrix. Mm -hmm. um, I think is not... It's sort of like medium reviews. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Have you talked about it on this? No. No, uh -uh. no. Do we, I, need, do we I, need to, Gavin? Do you, oh, how do you feel about the Matrix? Has everyone seen it? Well, yeah, I know your thoughts already. No, but uh, you can go ahead. I'm probably not going to see it anytime soon. <sighs> well, I hated it. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't think it was any good. Right, right, right. <laughs> so time it right now for six years <laughs> and watch <laughs> when all of these articles come out and they go, actually. Matrix 4 was very good. Well, actually? Yeah. So, well, actually? But is that because there's new voices in the media? Or is, or are you more upset if Gavin comes back in six years and says, actually, the Matrix Well, is it good. could happen. It could. It could <laughs> release a fifth one that's even worse. Yeah. That makes this one look great. The thing that bothers me is that people are swayed and their opinions weren't... Like, when they had these things to say, mm -hmm. they obviously had no weight behind them. Because to be swayed like that easily by other people going, this is actually good now? And they go, yeah, this is actually good now. Don't like when there's no back, if you have an opinion, that's fine. And you can change the opinion, mm -hmm. but to not have any sort of like backbone to the opinion and then change the opinion, why even have it to begin with? Mm. That's what bothers me. <laughs> I get that's that. That's what bothers I me. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm still thinking about the matrix. Like I can't yeah. believe they made that. I don't want to discourage people coming back to franchises like mm -hmm. I really actually genuinely love seeing actors return to roles after like years 20 yeah. years or something mm -hmm. I think that's great but this was not I feel bad for everyone involved yeah I feel like the problem with a new matrix is that it was so cutting edge in 1999 yeah that to do something 20 years later and to still believe it's going to be as cutting edge is so like foolhardy, but, it, but it's not like it it's, wasn't able to like go the mm -hmm. next step. Mm -hmm. It just seemed lo less than the other ones. It the seemed, script was just bad. Well, it honestly general. felt like a TV fan movie. Yeah, for the yes. Matrix. But yeah. is it like I've said this before? By the numbers, I'm not a fan of the Matrix. Mm -hmm. If you just look at the number of movies they've made, <laughs> and and the is the it? number of yeah. movies. Of the Matrix that I like, mm -hmm. I am not a fan of the Matrix. Oh, you just like the first one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. First and and really, yeah. I only like the first one when they're inside the Matrix. Because when everything <laughs> is gray and they have to eat gruel, I don't want to watch that. And yeah. then they have like a sex orgy in like a like a cave. Yeah. And that's like a really long time that's to spend on it. Yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah. And then like, and you just go, right, but remember when everyone was flying? <laughs> 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 yeah, plug me in. Like... By the numbers, I don't like The Matrix, but I feel that way with a lot of it, franchises. I, I was going to ask, yeah. is there a franchise that you like by the numbers? 
what qualifies as a franchise? How many? Uh, Probably anything more than three or more. Or more. Three, three or, or more. Trilogy would be yeah. the minimum requirement. Mm -hmm. I would say if you were to cut off Terminator at three, I'm a fan of the Terminator. But <laughs> okay. if you include all of the Terminator yeah. movies, I'm not a fan of the Terminator. Unfortunately, there's Copy more that. of that. Yes. Yeah. Three wasn't good. Three wasn't good. But he's no. saying by the numbers, one no, and two. No, one, one and two are fantastic. Three is not good. Oh, I thought you said cut them off off to three. No, no, no. Cut, well, if you cut, if you go one, two, and three, that's the franchise. Great. Then okay. I'm a fan of the Terminator. <laughs> but there are like seven? <laughs> How many Terminators? I don't know how, many uh, there are. how many Salvation? Terminators is there? Uh -huh. Jenny Cace. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there like Resurrections or? Then that's the Matrix. That was the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> One of those words. Uh, yeah. Terminator Reloaded. Uh -huh. <laughs> Terminator uh, what was Two: the... Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> what yeah. was the newest one? What is ads covering up our chat? Yeah, check it's it out. There's ads. a mug. Can Does even... that happen to people Did yeah, watching? He's... Well, if they don't yeah, have an account. The well, they're not zoomed all the way in on the chat like this. So there, it's a small thing, and it doesn't go over the video. Oh, well, someone said ads are really just, I mean, so like, yeah, I guess they can fully see them. Well, there you go. Yeah, but everyone's first, man, boy, they get ads. So you can buy, look, at, look at a cup, buy a cup? A cup I don't have. This is a regular yeah, paper Yeah, it's in cup. the store. Fuck. Bloody um, ad every 10 seconds. What, what franchise are you a fan of, then? If, like, if, if you're using that, like, Jurassic Park? No, absolutely not. Probably Lord of the Rings. I okay, the I think that's I like a... the three movies and uh -huh. the Hobbit. The first Hobbit. The first Hobbit. Yeah. I love Harry Potter, man. I'm a okay. I I love Harry okay. Potter. Okay, Harry Potter. I think the majority I mean, are good. Yeah. yeah, Harry Potter at least was just like the same style all the way through. Yeah. I mean, it got darker, yeah. but it didn't yeah. feel like an era of Harry Potter and then yeah. a different one. Like, which is Lord yeah. of the Rings, Hobbit, feel yeah. very different. Yeah, but it's also <clears> and that's crazy because the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit's the same director. Harry Potter, like, switched directors, like, every movie. But Lord of the Rings Except and The from... Hobbit is a very different ins- Yeah. Every Harry Potter movie is a book. Every Hobbit movie is not a book. <laughs> it's but all also, one book. <laughs> there was more time between them. How many years were between Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit? There was a good chunk of time. Yeah. 15? A whereas, whereas Harry Potter, I don't know, they just, just kept making just them. Maybe them I, maybe there's something to say with just, like, hey, yeah, we're just... in the same world for ten years yeah, but <laughs> together. I think, that, I think that Hobbit really- falters because you have one book and the second movie of the three movie thing is just people going like that dragon's in there and they go yeah he's gonna desolate something <laughs> yeah it's just a lot of standing around yeah. going mm -hmm. was lord of the rings three books or one book three yeah isn't it three books yeah uh, i said it really is one more book i suppose i found the recently? first book was fellowship it fe they're, they're fellowship. the same names yeah. of the movies yeah. Yeah. yeah i've got a book on my shelf this is lord of the rings is it like this big? It's pretty big. That is all the books. <laughs> Gavin, I would venture to say it's all the books. <laughs> no, I believe that there is two editions. Like, there's like two editions of The Hobbit. There was one that yeah. was written initially where they, uh, uh, Gollum and um, Bilbo didn't fight over the ring. Like, mm -hmm. they agreed to part amicably. They're like, okay, you beat me in riddles. Here's the ring. <laughs> And then, me in so fun. then they knew, like, uh, Tolkien, I do that to the police. <laughs> beat me in riddles, yeah. take me away, lock me up. Uh, and then, uh, when he knew he was going to be writing Lord of the Rings, he changed it to where they didn't part amicably. Yeah, there's a lot of retcon for The Hobbit, right? In, in the movies, too. Like yeah. a bunch of stuff. Oh, that, movies especially. Mm -hmm. made, there's no Tom like, Bombadil. They connected oh, no. it to the original trilogy through yeah. means that weren't in the book. We're Bombadilists, and that sucks. <laughs> my, my biggest problem with the Matrix. Yeah, yeah, I right. love it. This is great. Mm -hmm. This is what it's I want to hear about. It's that it looked shit. Right. Like, technically, it didn't look as good as the other three. Because uh -huh. it looks like, I assume they just shot it on like a bunch of red cameras and stuff. Right. But it's like, to my eye, they didn't know which bits they wanted to slow down, so they shot everything at a high frame rate. Yeah. It is all over the place. But then, play back at like a normal 24 frame rate. But, that, but because of that, the shutter speed's too high. <laughs> On all of the dialogue and all of the like Camera walking around, over here. Uh -huh. and then when they go into slow mo, there's not enough shutter, so it's all blurry and messy, and it's just I just can't believe that must have been a pre-production yeah. decision. Yeah, it might, it might not be what they did, but it, to me it looks like technically it's just a. They should called you up, dude. Shit. This is this is why <laughs> when you're on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to say that I could do anything better. I can't direct I a movie. But it just is weird. It's weird to look at. Mm -hmm. I don't know what cameras they use, but they look like digital. I'm sure we could find out easily. I'm not going to. They should have done it on film. And I hate being like one of those uh, films better. Because I do like digital cameras. Yeah, but I, I just feel like it was, uh, mm -hmm. it was mucky and it looked very TV-ish. I watched... 
Um, <laughs> watched Licorice Pizza over the weekend. I want to see that. Is uh, it good? Yeah, I mean, if you like Encino, California in 1975, you're going to love Licorice Pizza. Um, if you've never been and that doesn't make any sense, you might be a little out of the loop on Licorice Pizza. Uh, <laughs> I saw it in a 70 millimeter screening. So it was on film. Nice. Uh, that's a trick. That's a, that's a trick for you. To that's a you get that's a you get duped. That's a little tricky trick that they trick people into What's doing. What's which which part's the what, trick? What, what, uh, it's where people go. I enjoy cinema, and then they oh, go watch the seventy millimeter thing, sure. and you go, "The fuck is this?" Yeah. it's just the same. It just looks the same. Was it uh, shot on seventy millimeter? I have no idea. <laughs> if it wasn't, that'd be insane. Yeah, yeah, weird crazy. Hell. <clears throat> Would be crazy. Uh, does not look like it needs to be shot on 70 millimeter. No. No. Uh, everything, there's a lot of that movie where there are like, there are interesting tracking shots. There are some great looks to everything. They really nailed the look and the feel of Southern California. Mm. Like, man, mm -hmm. it's really cool. Story wise, I'm tired, I think, of. It's a coming of age. Type which, of? which all takes place in like a month. Mm. It's a coming of age story mm. that takes place in a month where no one really comes of age. <laughs> it's oh, very great. strange. <laughs> um, it, I think I'm tired of movies that are like a love letter to mm. and then mm. blank. Um, like the way Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was mm. and Licorice Pizza kind of feels like that. And it was mm -hmm. just sort of like, this is an ode. Uh, I don't, I don't. I like when movies are 90 minutes. That's really fun for me. I really enjoy that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But now it's a lot of sort of like, well, we shot all this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, here it is. You got to yeah. use it. Yeah. You no, know it just feels like people don't have editors. And so there's like a lot of sort of kind of yeah. hanging out. And uh, mm -hmm. there's no. What studio is behind that one? It's to drive. Oh, I don't know. It's I just said Paul Thomas Anderson is. Okay. It's him all the way. Yeah. Somebody said, Paul Thomas Anderson, yeah. what do you want to make? And he yeah. said, I want to make a story about how I used to love my art teacher. And I'm going to cast the art teacher uh, as her daughter. And that's the, okay. yeah, it's really, yeah. it's very. It's I want to watch it merely just because I'm sure it's going to be nominated for, I just want to watch all the Oscar movies. Yeah. So, you know. It, it, it's not, by no means is it a bad movie and there are no bad performances and mm -hmm. it doesn't look bad. Nothing about it is bad. Mm -hmm. I just don't think anything about it is You're like. tired of it. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. think anything about it is like what I want from a Paul Thomas Anderson movie, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, Boogie Nights, where you, like, the guy's throwing firecrackers and everyone's doing coke. And you see and dicks and stuff. Pulls so. out his big dick, and then yeah. he goes, I'm not shooting you in the state I'm in. State mm -hmm. of California, and he's all fucking... Yeah. I love that. That's so it right wouldn't there. Wouldn't be a good, like, 40X movie? No, yeah. I, <laughs> that's just like, I haven't seen the new Spider-Man movie because I want to see it in 40X so badly. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. It, w it, wouldn't it be incredible in yeah. 40X? Uh, Are they gonna, like, wait. silly string you? Like, yeah. Jessica, you are 40X. And, and its properties, what it does? No, but it sounds. Is it is it all like you're in the chair? You're the in the wind, chair. Yeah. yeah, I've never been blows, to one of those, oh, but I'd love to. The only way that I'll watch some of these movies. Yeah, now. it's so awful. you're saying you want to see Spider Man that way? In, oh, the only that sounds is that like amazing. how you'll only see Marvel movies from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. After mm -hmm. seeing Shang, Shang Shang Chi, sorry, mm -hmm. after seeing Shang Chi like that, mm -hmm. it's the only way that I think I can see those movies because I don't have the patience to sit for two hours and thirty one minutes. Yeah, you gotta pee, man. It's just like, kinda like uh, I we, don't want to spend see, this much time with those characters. We yeah. also make sure to steal the Fast and Furious. Mm. Those, <clears throat> that is like you're driving the car. <laughs> you know, like it's when him, you chairs moving. <clears throat> it's him, me, and TPG as the oh, yeah. the current the family. It's awesome. It's it's just Tim going, bro. <laughs> 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 You fuck with Vin, and then you just go, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, <laughs> thank you, Cody. Uh, those are fun, because then it's like you're in, it's like Universal Studios. Yeah. Where you're like in the thing, and it goes, and then you're like in the car. Yeah. So I feel like Spider-Man will be the same thing, because it'll be him like swinging and fighting Willem Dafoe or whatever. And mm. How far do they go? So I know that they move your seat. They uh -huh. have wind. Uh -huh. Do they do like water? Like, they spray what water, water. There's and... smoke. So, when there's okay. gunshots, lights go off. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sometimes but, if it's very smoky and the strobes are going off, it's bouncing light off the smoke <laughs> in front of the screen and you can't see the movie. You can't see the movie? 
Okay. Didn't in uh, Shang-Chi, they also like punch you in the back? Yes, yeah. Oh. You got hit in the back. <laughs> it was awesome. It oh. was like very physical to get yeah. hit and just go. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It was very cool. So well, like if you saw a Titanic, you could just like, you're drowning. Yeah, like, you just they, start they drowning. Waterboard you. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. He they likes, start filling yeah. in a hose. He likes 90 minute movies. You think he's going to touch Titanic? No, I'm not going to watch Titanic ever That's like again. two. No, no. It's like two I think, I, think the, I think the ship hits the iceberg around 90 minutes. 90 yeah. <laughs> And that's the end of movie number one. Yeah. I remember watching it on VHS when I was a kid. Me too. And yep. like put it like it was like playing Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> it was just like end of disc one, insert disc <laughs> yeah. two, but it was like VHS tapes. Yeah, that was very exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like I just don't know what I don't know why there's such a pull. Do people want to go like Yeah, I got to get my money's worth. This movie better be two hours and forty five minutes. Like, is that that feels like too long to spend with most characters? Yeah, I mean, I think I mean with Marvel and stuff, I think it's. They have their big crossover that I think you want to get all your characters' time in. Mm-hmm. But then they're like, well, the last movie we did was three hours. If we make this one 90 minutes, that feels like we're missing something. Oh, I also, that. I feel like movies, the Marvel movies, they know that they can do it and people will sit and watch it. Oh, they well. don't. Yeah. We were talking about it before we started here. Mm-hmm. The end, <laughs> the after credit scene for mm-hmm. Spider-Man is a trailer for Doctor Strange. Not like... Oh, Doctor Strange does something. Mm -hmm. The the movie ends and they go, here's a trailer for Doctor Strange. (laughs) And they just show a trailer. And I think that's fucking awesome. So we've done that before? We've come full circle. For what? I think the end of whatever was right before the Avengers had just a trailer for the Avengers in it. Did it? I have no idea. We've now come full circle. Yeah, trailers They're are called going. Trailer. Yeah. yeah, they trail the movie. Yeah, so now we're hey. the trailers <laughs> at the end of the movie. I did not know that. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I I love that they just went like, well, we could shoot another scene, and somebody went, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Put a trailer. They are going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, wow. ooh, what are you gonna do? Get up. I love that. If I was Marvel, I would just have that as ad space. Yeah. I well, would just sell, sell something. Forget Super Bowl movies, mm-hmm. uh, ads like that cost billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Put, if you sell that slot at the end of a Marvel movie, mm-hmm. I think companies would pay massive. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I yeah. think people would spend big bunts. Oh yeah. What's this Geico commercial? <laughs> <laughs> is is Captain America going to show up with the lizard yeah. or it's what all, is? This? It's all done with the characters though. That's <laughs> the after the European version where the ads are just trailing along the bottom the <laughs> entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by me, Undies. Nobody's perfect, not even your significant other. I know, hard to believe. That's why me, Undies is celebrating our imperfectly perfect matches with new Valentine's Day collection. You know how I feel about me, Undies. Well, I guess you don't, but you know how Gus feels about me, Undies. Look, I like me, Undies. I have me, Undies. Wearing me, Undies. Very comfortable. I love the fit. I love the pattern. I love the company. I'm a me, Undies guy. Clear, well, not clearly. You can't see clearly. I'm a me, Undies guy, though. Gifting underwear for Valentine's Day? Wow, real original. But matching underwear is where it's at. Express your one-of-a-kind relationship when you match your bottom half with your better half in fun, limited edition prints. And if you're single, don't worry, you can mingle in matching pairs with your friends and even get your dog hoodies and buddy bands to match your four-legged soulmate? What? Oh my god, that's awesome. Be sure to check out all of the Me Undies super fun, super soft undies, socks, bralettes, loungewear, and more available in sizes extra small to 4XL. Me Undies has a great offer for our listeners. For a limited time only, get 25% off your first order. You're matching pairs for Valentine's Day. And as a first-time purchaser, you also get 15% off and free shipping right to your door. To get 25% off matching pairs, 15% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guaranteed, go to MeUndies.com slash Rooster Teeth. That's MeUndies.com slash Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth, that's us. MeUndies, that's them. Uh... <laughs> I have a friend that says his favorite movie is commercials because it's gotten to a point where they're just so, like, big budget. He's just like, I think my favorite movie is just when the Super Bowl is on. And then, <laughs> and then it stops being on and they start showing little movies. Little <laughs> like, that's very cool. I like that. Ooh, what's this little movie short, about? It's insurance. Like 100 new little shorts came yeah, out today. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, any of these nominated? Yeah. That's great. What are you upset about? I'm upset. <clears throat> I ate a large amount of broccoli before I came here, and Uh-oh. now I'm real gassy. About oh, it, so no. Have you been was... gassing it up this whole time? Uh, it hasn't come out yet, but when oh. it does, I'll, I guess I'll inform you. You might not need to. Yeah, he might just be informed. You might mm. be informed. But that, yeah, I wish I didn't eat all that broccoli. <laughs> Why did you eat so much broccoli? I'm trying to eat more vegetables and uh-huh. fiber and uh-huh. stuff and it's just like be healthier in general. 
Um, yeah, just in general, you know. I re- listened to a podcast about how literally everything you eat ties into, of course, the way your brain works and how you feel. Mm. Like everything your doctors have told you all your life, but you're uh-huh. just like, ah, eh, fuck it. I'm going to continue drinking right, alcohol. Right, but my doctor doesn't have weed. a podcast. <laughs> So, doctors uh, should have podcasts. That sounds like something I'd never listened to. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so then you you went, broccoli's got to be it for me. Yeah, straight up raw broccoli. I put a little bit of olive Roll. oil on it, yeah. some what? salt, pepper, Why? garlic really powder. Why did you, you bake it? I did. Well, sometimes I sometimes will, but today I was just like, I'm going to go. You just ate raw? You just ate like a bunch of raw broccoli? But I put olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder on it. Right. That's not what I did, but I'm asking if you <laughs> But did. yes, it was raw. <laughs> yes. You didn't cook it. I did not cook it. Why? It's good. It was good that way. And raw I felt. Broccoli? It's probably oh, more. Healthy. It's probably healthier for you if you don't cook it. I think it's probably pretty healthy if you cook broccoli. Not if you. Not certain ways. Well, that is right. true. That is true. Right. I think steaming it is the healthiest way. Yeah. yeah. When you add all. Yeah. Right. But I'm going to eat steamed broccoli instead of raw broccoli that I totally. put garlic powder on. Totally. I'm just going to dip in. raw broccoli in a bowl of olive oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Ow. No, yeah, my dad, my dad would take celery. He uh-huh. would mix, he would make a mixture of olive oil, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and whatever other seasonings, make it and dip celery into it. Mm. He's very Italian, too, so it's just like I olive oils. Hate, everything. I hate celery. What? I mean, what you know, on a log? I get it. It doesn't really taste like much. Ants on a log. Those, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Dipping it into peanut butter. Mm-hmm. You know. Put raisins? Celery. Hey, Why, man, I, I'm it? an adult now. I have to bad. eat better. You know. Yeah. You're you supposed to, like, it. have you thought about trying it again? Yeah, you, I have. I have. Oh, okay. It, Wait, you've thought about it or you have tried it again? No, I've tried it again. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting around thinking about trying broccoli one more time. Um, <laughs> Mold it over with the wife. Yeah. Uh, we might do it. We sat down, we made a pros and cons list and uh, undecided. Uh, <laughs> no, I had it recently and it's just like, I just don't like the taste. It's so like bad celery is <laughs> bad celery like watery and it's just yeah. sort of like oh, you're crunchy and this isn't anything but then when celery tastes a lot like celery that tastes bad yeah have you try cooked celery it's so good wait cook- it's, oh it's yeah really good it is it, it changes the game when it comes to my, celery mm-hmm. my roommate just got um she's been like super into final fantasy 14 and uh so she got a cookbook that's like all of the recipes what? from the game what <laughs> And so, nice. is this for real? Yeah. yeah and so we awesome. had a weekend where we, like, for, for, the, meal, <laughs> yeah. for the meal that day, Hell yeah. we all just had cooked, uh, we had like a roast beef That's from it. the game. And they were like, you put celery, I don't know what the celery did, but you put the celery around the beef and it absorbed all of the flavor. Yeah. And it was so Look good. At you. It was so good. I have a Harry Potter cookbook. Shit. I'm making pastries all day from that book. Is that, oh, that butterbeer? They have, yeah, they have all of that in it, but, <sighs> you know. Trick millennials into cooking. <laughs> what vegetables do you like? Do you like green vegetables? I love broccoli. Okay. Raw? But you just don't <laughs> steamed. Okay. I think it's fantastic. Don't with yeah. it raw. Carrots, peppers, yeah. onions. I love vegetables. Celery yeah. has a very weird flavor. I don't like it. Yeah. I, I don't mean, like hey. I don't like it. I don't like kale. That should taste like really I like kale. or something. I like it's, cooked kale. I don't mind it raw. I like how rough it is. You have to like Ooh. it's like I like fighting my food a little bit. Chick arugula? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's love peppery. Arugula. Yeah. I like arugula on pizza, but you gotta eat I just think, a handful. Yeah. Eat just a handful of arugula. Yeah. It's peppery. No? I don't think. Which one's that again? It's like the peppery one. <laughs> it's like thin. Yeah, it's a thin. It's a thin. <laughs> it's, um, it's, a, it's like thin. It's thin. thin. You know? <laughs> like that. Gavin. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's on it's, pizza. It's like, what if, it, what if baby plant, spinach was thin and spicy? And spicy. It has a lot of ridges, mm-hmm. but like they're bigger ridges. It's like, like small waves. kale. Yeah, you might but it's think lighter it's, than kale. It's mm, a lighter color green. It's not poison ice. Is this a good episode? <laughs> <laughs> Is this good so far? Is this what you tuned in for? I think you can make poison ivy taste good. Whoa! Dude, can that you would cook, feel awful going Can you cook poison instance? ivy to be oh. edible? Yeah, cook all the poison out. Can Just so everybody cook? knows, Gavin rocket. is researching. It's rocket. What's, yeah, he's what's looking rocket? at this post. It's what England calls arugula. Oh, I'm sure oh, that's like which one it is. It's got a different word. Because there's like coriander and yeah. then... Coriander is... Yeah. So, yeah, you said it. What's the? You, don't you have a different word for like turnip or something? Root, rutabaga. Parsnip? You have like a different word. Sweet. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have sweet. We have a different podcast called Fuckface where we've uh, deep dove these topics <laughs> and many more. We're trying to explain to Jessica what it's about. And <laughs> couldn't. <laughs> Came up short. Every we just time. started talking about bean holes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, a, it was a crash course on bean holes, and uh-huh. then this fell down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, you should listen to um, all 85 episodes uh-huh. of our podcast. 
I'll I'll do that. I think I it would. Wait. I think it would like really make you insane. I can't imagine. I, I mean, think, and and I feel like I know you quite well. Mm -hmm. Okay. You would hate it. You okay. Absolutely hate <laughs> wait, it. Wait, why? I, think, I agree. I think you would just be so sick of us. Yeah. Yeah. I think if okay. you're listening to podcasts where a doctor is telling you what your body should be consuming, you're going to hate <laughs> this. Yeah. Because <Yeah. laughs> you'll be like 19 episodes in and be like, I don't think they've talked about anything yet. Well, it's one of those things where like, I like you as people right uh -huh. now, but if I were to listen to the podcast, would I just hate you guys after that? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think, I think you would be more like confused that you'd just be like, why are you... Why do you have a podcast? Yeah, in like, the first like place? what is this? What are you doing? Yeah. What's like, happening? You guys yeah. have so much more to talk about. Like, yeah, there's anything. You well, can we're talk too about. close okay. to it. Why don't we put it to the chat? If mm -hmm. they've seen Bleep Face, let us know. Why should Jessica? Oh, watch that's it? very good. That's actually a podcast great. Why, question. Why of the should week. I listen? To why this? should Jessica listen to Fuckface? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jessica, it would be great for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a debate for a long time on how you would eat a whole door. Yep. Like a, like a, a door door. Yeah, you know, like a door. I've heard that with like an airplane. You would eat an airplane? How would you eat an airplane? Well, yeah. Well, we started yeah. smaller. We went with yeah. door. An airplane um, door. So there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of conversation about that. Wow. Jeff thinks he can throw a baseball 80 miles an hour? No. That seems false. <laughs> I'm ready for that. That's just hey, fake hey, news. Hey, hey, it is. I'm ready <laughs> to see the scene of Jeff, like the rookie, where yeah. he, he throws it by the speed trap oh. sign. He uh I don't want to just talk about other podcasts on this, but God, it's my favorite thing where he just went, I threw it 80 miles an hour and then went out and tried. And he's like, Gavin threw it pretty fast. He threw it like 43. And I went, that's about <laughs> half as fast as you need to throw it. <laughs> that's, that's your, if you saw that and you went, wow, that's pretty quick. You have to do double that. That's very, 80 miles an hour is like very, very fast. Yeah. It very hard. That's oh, fast for me driving. Here come the, the answers. Oh, okay. Go, go now. That's good. A door, 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 a door, Panting, door. Right. door. It's a regulation podcast. It's pure um, insanity. Raymond Somer. Mm -hmm. um, this all uh, makes sense if you listen to Fuckface. Eat the okay. pencil. Mm -hmm. Andrew's mess with it's drivers. Yeah, heard he tried out Nugget the Nuggets. That was a whole. That was a weird day. Out, out like, Nugget the Nuggets. Yeah. It's like out Pizza in the Hut or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no one <laughs> can out Pizza the Hut. Do you understand me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, he tried to. Eat we'll we'll nuggets. print this out for you, Jessica, just Great. so you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do a great copy paste. What kind of paper? Print it with the law. <laughs> we'll print the law. We'll print this. It'll be fine. Oh no! No! Don't! Why did you touch it? I flashed it by accident. Oh no! Uh, Cole, is there anything you're mad about? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna change it to where I'm mad that restaurants don't have more robots. Okay. There was a bunch. Of, I went to the Korean barbecue place that just opened up. There's a bunch of uwu robots running around. There's a bunch of oh, what? Wow. Uwu. What are you saying? Like, ooh, ooh. like little cutie. Little what? Cutie now it's robot? coming from behind the camera. Ooh, What's ooh. happening? Yeah, ooh. ooh. What, what is that? They got Stop little, saying like, it. You got a little cat face. They go ooh. ooh. ooh, ooh. Oh, it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a noise. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's like O W O. I thought U W U. I thought that. you were describing the brand oh, of whoa. robot. Oh whoa! Well, but it's ooh. That's cuter. I thought it was with use. Do yeah, they was, walk I was around? O or U? Oh, okay. I bet they Awa. scoot. Awa. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty close to the grown tube noise. I was gonna say, oh yeah, it's yeah. Ewe, but that's just you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Korean barbecue place where robots. So yeah, they they have. It's weird because they have like a waiter who comes by and goes, oh, what do you want? You're like, oh, I want like uh, beef what belly. You, what, you, what the fuck are you? Beef belly, for? pork belly, soju, uh -huh. yada yada yada, and like. Then the robot comes and it's just like a, a robot with a little face on it and it has a bunch of trays under it uh -huh. And they bring you the meat and then you take it and you cook it yourself Huh wow, and now you want that from every restaurant As everywhere. Yeah, I want this complicated You want to go to like pint house pizza and McDonald's even oh you want to go to McDonald's Yeah, I feel like McDonald's would be pretty quick to adopt the robots. Mm, I yeah. feel like mm -hmm. McDonald's doesn't need the robots every McDonald's is so small inside that you don't you can go to the ordering every McDonald's kiosk. Yeah, you yeah. Can go to the ordering kiosk. Yeah, and then that. that was a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you did what? The fuck did you do? A McDonald's. It's a whole bridge. <laughs> oh, you went to you oh. went to a McDonald's. It's a bridge. It's a whole bridge. Yeah. Oh. You keep. I can't. I mean, Andrew went to one that was a train. You are underselling that's it. That's true. Andrew did go to one that's a train. See. Well, we could have the McDonald's at the train go over the McDonald's <laughs> at the bridge. Yeah, didn't he say it was like Ronald's caboose or something? Yeah. Like that? Oh, and then he was like mad at us because we didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah. Because yeah. he thought that all McDonald's had trains for them. 
<laughs> He's been well, to another McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, right? He's yeah, complaining. He's the only to learn. Like, yeah. imagine going to like Bakersfield, California, and going. So this, where's your train for this McDonald's? And they just go, "What the? Get out!" <laughs> So, he's from an island. Yeah, he yeah. Any so Canadian. it's like when you're driving up to Indiana, mm -hmm. there's like a whole bridge that's the McDonald's. You keep. I don't understand. I still. Why does can't, it need like, that much space? I don't understand how it's a whole McDonald's. I don't either. It's a whole McDonald's. You keep so, saying so that, it though. So there's no yeah. drive through. It's a drive over. Yeah. <laughs> so you order at one end of the bridge. Well, you can't drive on the bridge. Oh, what the? It's all a McDonald's. It's a footbridge. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking it's like a car bridge. Of course no. we're thinking it's a car I'm bridge! It's like, God, there's not a bridges space cars. that's probably oh not needed. God. There's like, you, there's like foot bridges in Austin. Of course there are, but I don't go, yeah, there's McDonald's in You should have been more specific, this, like, first thought, Is this a bridge, or is it just a building that has like a road under The it? entire bridge is a building. It's a big arch. That's not a bridge? Oh, it's a, is it a bridge? It's a bridge! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's a high <laughs> <and> there's <laughs> a bridge. Can we get a picture of this freaking oh, bridge we've got? That was so genuine. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we used to go to Indiana every summer, and then we'd go to Jesse James Cavern. And Wait, so gems. you've been here? You've been to the bridge yeah, McDonald's? Robert Dillo. You just said that you don't know! What did I don't know? Wow! You just said you don't know what the bridge McDonald's is. It's a bridge. Yeah, you did say I that. Did. Okay, I said I don't. I don't know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I was getting yelled at and so I just started answering questions. So, That's yeah. fair. That, That's I, you're, you're, you're under pressure. <laughs> under pressure. I get it. Uh, Bridge McDonald's. We found out that Cole hadn't been on this podcast like ever until a month ago? Or something? Been on, I've been on with Cole. We'd been on it but it wasn't until uh, work from home. Yeah, and it was like, how? I, That's insane. I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy. It seems like Cole's a natural fit for this yeah. thing. Bridge bring... McDonald's, Oklahoma. Benita, Oklahoma. <laughs> as, as evidence. Can we as, see? As, <laughs> here are my findings. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh. Get That's me. not a. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Hang no, on. No, Wait, no, that's, that's a bridge. That's not what I thought. Of course, Jessica. Cole, Cole is of course it's not what you thought. He's <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's, it, let's, let's have a poll here. Okay. Uh, raise your hand. Is that a bridge? That's, that's I mean, a... I guess it is. And bridges to take you from one place to the next, where but you can't. I don't think. No. Right, if that was a, if that, go back to the picture. If there was a building on top of that, mm -hmm. I would say that is not. That's not a bridge. That is, there is a building on top of that. It's the McDonald's. No, I know. But if it was like just one of those fat buildings that just has a road go under it, uh huh. Which is what that that's is. Mainly a bit. No, there's no road. Wait, let me Going look at the definition it. of a bridge. <laughs> just in case. Well, I'm there's confused. multiple ways you can go under it. This go is a good the... episode um, of this podcast. It's on. just people saying definitive things, but they don't know what they're talking about. Wait. I'm talking about a building that's like the uh, hospital in GTA. I understand like, what you're saying. Yeah. You can go sort of under. And yeah. that's okay. and I posit that that's exactly what that is. I have the definition mm. of a bridge in case anyone's oh, confused. Okay. Please, yes, Jessica. Please. Just, what is a bridge? Know. Okay, a structure carrying a road, path, railroad, or canal across a river, ravine, road, railroad, or another obstacle. Okay. So, or the elevated enclosed platform on a ship from which the captain and officer. No, 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 no. It might be. It I might be the first just, one. It's certainly first one, not the second one. Uh, not the second. Uh, one. Game of cards. That's it. I don't. I don't. Hmm. Is an overpass a bridge? Yeah. Yes. What's an over? Why do they call it an overpass? Because you're passing over something. Same with a bridge, right? That's the whole. I don't point. know. I call those bridges. <laughs> I don't call those over. I'm not going. We I'm have across this. Is an overpass, overpass a bridge? Man, we're real smarties. <laughs> you know, we're, we're a couple of smarties. You know this? <laughs> yeah, we're Trevor. <laughs> is Tower Bridge a bridge? What is Tower Wait, Bridge? What? The in bridge London? in London. You just described it yeah. as a bridge. That's is, it. is it a bridge though? Which one was you what? just said it was. I don't know what it is. Is Tower said... Bridge a bridge? It's a drawbridge. It's a drawbridge. You, so it's a drawbridge. You, if it was a draw McDonald's, that would be <laughs> sick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Big Mac slide. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your fries! <laughs> I think that's the only way that I will acquiesce and say that that McDonald's is a bridge is if it opens. Oh, auto-corrected is an overpass a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. It's called it's called an overbridge in the UK. God damn it! An overbridge. No, an overbridge Jesus. or a flyover in the UK. I've had flyover. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a bridge, road, railway, or similar structure that crosses over. So maybe. Oh, I don't know. 
I don't know what. <laughs> I, think it, I think that's I think that's what I just like read. He just found out the secret and then kept it to himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for me. Yeah, yeah. It, can, it can be a bridge. I'll, I'll... So the McDonald's is a bridge. The McDonald's think, is a bridge. I don't I agree. So. Everyone agreed with me. Why don't, what don't you agree with? It doesn't. It's not. It's a building so that just can, has a road. Walk, on... You can walk all the way across it. But that, I just don't. It doesn't make sense. Most recent comment. If Jessica was wondering, <laughs> this is exactly what listening to. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we have the to. Oh, I guess what we would do on Fuckface <laughs> is really break it down to figure out what a regulation bridge is. Oh, yeah. And then man. compare this to that. And then Gavin would go, well, about a drawbridge. And then well, that, drawbridge. that would derail everything that's happened to that yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. I don't agree that it's a bridge, but it should have robots. Should have we can, we can, I think we can all agree yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I mean, no, I That's... don't agree with that. I don't think McDonald's needs robots. Why not? Because it already has the ordering kiosk, and then you walk four feet to the counter. It's not a sit-down service that place restaurant. That a madhouse. This the counter? is a sit-down service restaurant. No, it's not a sit-down. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a restaurant where you can sit down, but it's not a sit-down oh, restaurant. Some of them are. And waitresses. Some of them can be a sit-down restaurant. They, I think so they some of them give you a bridge. They can do anything they want. <laughs> so, be a train. Be a bridge. <laughs> some of them can be a bridge. <laughs> Listen, kids, you can do anything. McDonald's can be a bridge. <laughs> can we uh -huh. dig a road? Yeah. <laughs> just oh, under this building, uh -huh. so we'll so, work so in a bridge. Technically, this is we're a bridge. A, we're yeah. a bridge studio. This is a bridge. This is can a bridge be at ground level? Yeah. Or is everything under that? The well, tunnel. It's a tunnel. <laughs> uh, well, you can have a no, it could be a, a ground level because if it's over sea, then that's sea level, and then there's ground level. Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Right? Do you see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Yeah. Where the cars there can, be, there can be bridges in tunnels. On the, the bridge, the ground level bridge. Ground level bridge. There's a tunnel you, underneath it. It's under sea level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So wait, do you not think you can this is way the normal way you agree <laughs> with someone? Uh, uh, so like his brain cannot compute. <laughs> He's just he like wants malfunctioning. You, he wants you to keep going yeah. because maybe you'll catch up and you'll get there. So uh, yeah. I didn't get that. <laughs> still, he's still not there. It's okay. This episode of the Rooster Teeth podcast is brought to you by Chime. Kick off 2022 the right way with a better checking account with no monthly fees, overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, or service fees. I'm talking about Chime, the award-winning app and credit card. With over 60,000 fee-free in-network ATMs at many locations, most at Walgreens, 7-Elevens, CVSs, you can access your money when you need it, where you need it. You can also send money to anyone, even if they're not on Chime. Fee-free for you and no cash-out fees for them. Make your first good decision of the new year and join over 10 million people using Chime. Signing up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash Rooster. That's Chime.com slash Rooster. And now is the part with the legal stuff. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank NA, members FDIC, get fee-free transactions at any MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven or at any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. Otherwise, out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Sometimes pay anyone instant transfers can be delayed. The recipient must have a valid debit card or be a Chime member to claim funds. It's okay. <laughs> Eric, you know that there are tunnel. bridges that have boats can go over, right? What the fuck did you just say? There are bridges no, that boats right. can go over. There's bridges that boats can go over? Yeah. yeah. The cars go weird. under the bridge and the boats go over the bridge. That's a weird one. It's called a float over. Oh wait, is this the thing? <laughs> okay, smarty this... pants all of a sudden <laughs> now. Smarty yeah. pants now. Is this the thing how you get to like a like the channel like thing like you drive like under the water or something? Well, what that's is... cars under the sea. Yeah. Right, and then and then the, and then the boat would go over them. <laughs> that's, so like, that, that's not so a bridge that a up bridge? there. That's just the sea. <laughs> yeah. Right, what is the sea a bridge? The Somebody sea. wrote, yeah, is no, the ocean a bridge? A bridge? Yeah. <laughs> that's so Same. great. If we already went what underneath it right? and you could drive under it, then the whole ocean is a bridge. The English Channel is a natural bridge. <laughs> you have to consider that the whole ocean is a bridge. If are you... we are we on drugs? We don't know. <laughs> like what the? F I don't know. This, I'm not that I know of. Wait, let's, we yeah. should show the picture of the boat bridge because that yeah. thing's. Cool. I don't understand. Cool. I still don't know what you're saying, but I'm okay with saying. So okay, it, you, have going, a, yeah. say you have a boat. Save your boat, and you need to get to work.
All right, you hang on. The wait, boat, wait, 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 wait. And you say I have a boat and I need to get to work. Yeah. So you get in the boat and you start I'm, sailing, okay. and there's a bridge that goes under you. You, I don't understand. On its wait, basic. On its face, get, I don't understand okay. what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, you might have to find a okay, picture we're again. Have we're gonna picture. have to. I'm a visual. Imagine learner. you have to go to work, so you get in your boat. Now you're sailing to work, <laughs> and the car drives under you. Oh, okay. Oh, what the? F that's oh. not car. That's boats on boats. That's that's well, really there could cool. Also yeah, but you, do you look at that and think, well, you couldn't put a road under that? Sure, you could. Yeah, no, I think you can't. That's I think why you shouldn't? Why? I don't think that should exist. <laughs> that's great. It's a river that goes over a different one. That's not good. That's terrible. <laughs> no. Somebody wrote this is a fucking fever dream. <laughs> This is this if it rained too much, then the one river goes to the other river. What the fuck? There is are cars that? underneath it. What wait, let me see that. The fuck? It's more of a tunnel. Wait, that is bizarre to think about. That's hard okay, for your brain uh, to it's comprehend. The I see it, but it is third weird. image in Google image. That there, yeah. There we go. That's it. bizarre. I don't <clears throat> This is like making me sick to look at. Where is that? It's like I, I know they're like in the Netherlands. Like, that... uh, like Netherlands? Norwegian mm. area. Are like you just saying if it would if it would rain, mm -hmm. the risk is the road would get wet? Because <laughs> that's gonna happen whether it rains. Then the water is <laughs> too much. It's too much. And then the, where does the water go? It's all on the road. There's no water. You well, can't get the waters up. No, the road is down. Well, how do you get the oh, water to oh, the road? Oh, I see you're saying like if it overflows. Yeah, oh. and then how do you get the okay. water? But the how only way that would overflow works. is if the entire thing overflowed. At which point, if there wasn't a bridge there, <laughs> it would be in the road anyway. What do you mean? I also think you have a lot more to worry about the entire sea levels rising. Yeah, you never, I never want to drive. The picture that we just looked at, I never want to be there. I don't want to drive under that. That is so unsettling. That like, well, that well, made me like car sick. What's the tube from England to France? <laughs> the yeah, the Channel Tunnel. Yeah, yeah that he that talked about. You would. Well, yeah, that's that what sounds, I. That's what I mean. So now the ocean is a bridge. It's terrifying. But, but you, I, so do you think under the ground under that. the ocean though? Yeah, you'd never take the tube. I don't want to. You would never though. I don't know about never. I but would and just pray to God the whole time. That's like the the cool part about it though. You can be in England and take go to France. This is like going to SeaWorld and going to like the shark exhibit where they go and you go in this tube and the sharks are everywhere And I go, why would I ever <laughs> want to be where the sharks are anywhere? You don't like being under shit. No, why would I want to be? No, I He's like being little. on top of things. He's little. So why don't you, you on the roof right now? Yeah, there's a building above you. Well, yeah, but look at this. This isn't, this isn't water collapsing. This whatever. is a shitload of steel This beams. is not I trust, concrete. I trust this less than that bridge. I trust, I trust that bridge zero. There's no way. That bridge is got, that bridge is water, and water is an element that God has said, <laughs> "Man, keep out." And that's why we can't. That's why we haven't been to all the ocean yet. Oh well. Think well, they, about it. They should build a bridge down there. They should. They should do a lot of things. <laughs> I found out that the ocean is mostly like desolate in the middle, and yeah. most of the life is around like coasts and islands and things. The middle. Where is the middle exactly? You know, like where there's nothing. Yeah, but where is that? You know, where, where there's can fucking I, yeah. nothing. Like, I, 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 just, like, I see what you're You know saying. how, like, you just, like, is keep going? Is the middle going? closest well, to of, where in the world? So I have a better a understanding. Technically, the middle's yeah. furthest. Yeah, I would think that, yeah. I get that, but you know, if when we had a map, where would you point? I would, I would go, t I would find a place that, like, if, like, the U.S. is here and Australia is here, I would kind of, like, find, so like... Pacific Ocean. I mean, yeah, I guess you could do Atlantic, too. I feel too. like the Pacific so like a, is like probably... like a Tristan da Cunha, whoever that... Uh, what the fuck did you just say? What's the name of that tiny remote island in the middle of the... Mm. But Bermuda? there would be life around that. I'm saying Bermuda, far away right? from that. No? Is that the most? Rem I don't know. That's what <laughs> so, we were. So you would. Fuck if so I you're know. talking about you would find all of the volcanoes in the world and find the one, the spot that's the most far away from all the no, volcanoes. No, I'm just saying that in general, when you're away from coasts, there's not a lot of teeming life in the ocean. That's, that's it's like a desert. Sense, though, yes. That makes sense. I didn't. I never thought about it. I haven't either. I, but I, I, that makes sense. Like, why would a shark? Piss off right into the middle. Into the middle, right? <laughs> when there's potentially like warmer but, right. stuff nearby, more. But I've never thought about that. Land I've never seals. thought about where a shark doesn't go. Yeah. I just constantly think about where a shark might be right now. So wait, you're mm. afraid of sharks then, right? Well, I don't like sharks. So I think go the water in general is <clears throat> um, something it's we don't respect enough and should respect more. Yeah. Um, it's scary, man. It's not healthy to be <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> I was about to tell you go hang out there because that's the farthest away from sharks. No, 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 no. The shark itself is not something I fear. The ocean, and when you look down and then you just don't see, oh, you yeah. get that fear yeah. of like 
What's down what the there? fuck is big down ocean. there? Yeah. Yep. Think about yeah. The you see that movie, The Meg. That's a big shark. Could Megalodon. be bigger. The Megalodon. Who knows? Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. You're just in the middle. I went deep sea fishing one time, and oh, you just fun. get yeah. in a boat yep. at like six in the morning. Yeah. And you start drinking, and then a guy just kind of like I you drank. just start yep. going west. Yep. For like an hour and a half, and you go, man, we're really far. And then you go like another half hour, and you just go, they'd never find us. Have you seen Open Water, the first one? No! Don't, it's, then. It's crazy, like, going it's... out into the sea, mm -hmm. how quickly you lose signal on all phones. Because uh -huh. you're like, oh, it's, everything. it's yeah. the land towers that these connect to, uh -huh. and there aren't any in the sea. There's none. No. <laughs> and you just yeah. go out there, and you go, well, I hope we catch something. Yeah. And then you do or you don't. Have and you it's... been to the beach at night when you just walk into the water at night? That's oh, terrifying. Yeah, oh, I've done that one time. Yeah, never yeah. again. No, that sucks. Yeah. <clears throat> no. There's... We also had to do, like, the stingray shuffle. There might be stingrays mm. under the sand. Do you think there's an escalator anywhere that's a McDonald's? Like, that oh, seems dangerous. You, you can order at the bottom mm -hmm. at like a little kiosk, and it's ready at the and top. The, at the top, when you get yeah. like near the, the top, the problem is go, when somebody orders a McFlurry and you get to the um, top, and they just and have they to just stand and wait. <laughs> <laughs> I think you order a McFlurry and you get to the top, and they don't tell you, and they just go, "Sorry, we're it doesn't work," well, and course, then you have to keep going because what are you going to do? Walk back? You can't. You can't. No, <laughs> it's not a McDonald's going down. That's a Burger mm -hmm. King. <laughs> <laughs> Burger King is, I think, the worst fast food restaurant. I could agree. Yeah. I, everyone hates Burger King. I right, think, right, right. Because it's bad. I think it's not that their food bad. is so bad that I like their impossible burgers because it tastes <laughs> the least like all their other food. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that they're, they taste, it tastes so much like Burger King and like <clears throat> nothing else. And then their fries taste like nothing. Yeah. And you go, how? How did this happen? How what happened? They figured it out for a while. You put like uh, Cheeto cheese on it. Mm. They like you, sh you could shake the box around and it right. would get the Cheeto cheese all over the fries. And that did was that, good. I did that in Japan. There's yeah. a place in Japan where I put fries in a bag and then shook them all around. They always do way. like really weird things with like uh, American fast food in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Japan, maybe too many sharks <laughs> in, in Japan. Yeah, I would think so. Like in, near Japan. in and around. Yeah. Would you be afraid constantly? No, I don't think I'd be afraid constantly. <laughs> but I think if I went to the beach i would be on more high alert for a shark i went to a aquarium in osaka where uh -huh. they had a whale shark but that's not like a shark is it yeah it's still a shark is it's a whale big, shark a shark it's or the is biggest it a shark what it's just a it's just it's a, not a mammal I mean, it's whatever a, it's a whatever animal is at the end uh -huh. is what it is like a tiger shark uh -huh. not a tiger <laughs> <laughs> true oh my god says you Okay, pop nickels. You think, if, good. think of an animal that has an animal's name at the end, yeah. but it's the first animal. No, yeah. Damn it! <laughs> okay, I'm, a, I'm with ladybug. It's a bug. It's not a, a lady. It's yeah. not a lady. <laughs> Man. Oh, we call it a ladybird. What? And it's not a bird. Well, it's that's a dog. It's, all, it's definitely not a bird. And why would you call it a bird? I don't know. You call ladybugs ladybirds? Yeah. Ladybird's a person. It's a dog. Rocket and coriander and ladybirds. Yeah. <laughs> ladybirds a Wait, dog? Arugula's not a rocket either. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all mixed up. God, we are. Mm. Just... Lady, ladybug I... is a bug and not a lady. I'll give mm. you that. And I heard something about like an orca is actually like a dolphin. Yeah, it's a mammal. Mm. Well, yeah, That's... I'm saying it's not a whale. It's a dolphin. Yeah. Technically. It's closer to a porpoise, yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird. That's we that is weird. They're like dicks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a good yeah. one in the chat. Yeah. Dynamike. Spider Monkey. Oh, I thought Dynamite was the thing you were saying. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, he's not Dynamite, he's, he's a, Mike. Daddy Actually, speaking of dolphins, Mike. have you guys looked up, like, w once I found out that dolphins hump humans or yeah. try to have sex yeah. with them, mm -hmm. I immediately got on a YouTube and looked up videos of this. <laughs> oh. Immediately. <laughs> have you guys seen them? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I just King had to, Hill. I just had to PA see it. said, honey badger, not honey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's right. He's very right. <laughs> Technically. Well, they also call uh, orcas blackfish, and they're not fish. That's true, and That's I've, true. I've also never heard that. Yeah. Really? No, I mean, there's, there's a, a documentary there's called... The documentary. Well, I know that, but mm -hmm. I thought that was just sort of supposed to be like... Mm. Uh, like, like, a, like a... I guess I just thought it was like a spy op thing. Mm -hmm. I think most things are CIA ops. I mm -hmm. think they're mm -hmm. like... Like, I think that most things are planted yeah. to mentally break me and I must overcome them absolutely in order to see I, I'm not connecting I don't understand what you're saying. I understand I think, yeah. <laughs> the, what you think like you're living like a Truman show life no 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 no. I just think he's just that the CIA is everywhere yeah yeah and I just that, think the CIA is doing classic psyops 
<laughs> to break me mentally. I think so, Blackfish is a is a like a psyop name for it's a what do they name? want you to yeah, think for... about orcas. I'm against them, I guess. Or I'm against SeaWorld. I'm supposed to be against SeaWorld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I grew up for sure. near SeaWorld and I didn't like it. No, me neither, Why? actually. Because you had to go inside where all the sharks were. I was very clear about that. And we've yeah. come full circle. <laughs> don't we like, have come full that's circle. what I'm getting. You don't like sharks. I'm not a water guy. I'm not. That's yeah. weird. Come, like, you grew up at a beach. I, I grew up in San Diego, but yeah. like we were also like we went to like the desert. So you're like desert rat people. That I think that's more my. I think my people are not water people. They like are. Rats. They are people who like live in the desert and like Eat steal their stepdad's dirt bike and sell it for like meth money. I think that's my people. Hmm. And the CIA is after that. me. Trying to stop me at any <laughs> trying to at, stop you from stealing your dad's dirt bike. Stepdad's dirt bike. Step <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I sent you a, a TikTok recently that was a rat playing Doom. Yeah. Did you see that? It's like the yeah. easiest fucking level of Doom I've they ever seen. They made it special for you the see rat. That? They made a special <laughs> Doom <laughs> for the rat. Yeah, they made a they Are made, you pissed off that no one made a special level in Doom for you, but they made one for a rat? I know I know a rat. guy who works on Doom and he didn't make a special <laughs> level for me. Someone wrote this is the next Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wrote Black Widow, not a widow. I think it is though, because they eat the uh, the male. Yeah, Do that's they? why it's called yeah. a Black Widow. And praying mantis do as well. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's not a praying; it's a mantis. <laughs> well, it's, it's both. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there praying and also being a mantis. Mm. <laughs> what else is hippopotamus? Not a horse. What? No one said it was a horse. What the fuck? What are you on about? <laughs> What the fuck? Would you say, what are you on about? Yeah. <laughs> what are you, him? I know, I was like, that's, up, <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? But there's they're saying, well, there's nowhere in hippopotamus to say horse. It's true. I don't know where that came from. You ever see when people, like, from the year, like, 1500, like, drew, like, a giraffe or whatever? And it would just be like, what happened here? Don't get me started. Ooh. They, like, two years ago, two, three years ago, they came out and there's a third species of giraffes. Wait, what were the other really? two? There was- I don't know! I'm like, why do we care? It's there's giraffes! There's like old giraffes, there's only two? There's three. Well, there's only- that's so <laughs> low, though, isn't it? Yeah. There's like three kinds of giraffes. Like, think of how many elephants there are. I like, think two. Three? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only two kinds now. African. Uh -huh. uh, Asian. Yeah. Indian? I don't think- I think that's like an extinct kind, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it is. So there's two. Okay. And so he's saying that it's the same number of giraffes, and then they said, here's a third one. So what you've posited is for the same year, situation. For eons, we've thought that. I should have said, like, e monkey. Eons! I, somebody was working on a book saying giraffes, definitely only two species, <laughs> and now, out the window, it's been ruined. Definitely, <laughs> I can say scientifically, only two species of I was giraffes. just like, why do we care? Why are we- why are we- Checking out giraffes. Man, this really riles you up, Cole. That's what makes me mad. Yes. <laughs> I found it. Dang. Hipp hippopotamus means water horse. Is that what the name means? Oh, that's what they're trying to say. Right, but that's not what it is. I mean, that's not what it's called. It's just it's like called a, a hippopotamus. It's just like the horse of a whole water. Oh, horse. I guess there are somewhere. It's like <gasps> water sea horse. Thing. Yeah. Sea horse. Sea horse are less horse than sea. They are more <laughs> sea than they are classically more sea than horse. Wow, yeah, that, that argument's falling. Mm -hmm. Someone said R.A.P. Eric's brain. Uh, this is a tough one. I'm really. <laughs> Which are you, what are you confused about now? It's just seahorse. Seahorses? Seahorse, sea hell? Seahorse. That's fine. I'll allow it. I'll allow seahorses. They okay. can be the one outlier. Ladybird. No, 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 no. Ladybug. Yes. It's a bug. Birds, there's a bird called secretary bird. Not a secretary, it's a bird. Mm -hmm. uh, very long legs and it goes like this to snakes. It like stomps, it stomps on, snakes. on snakes. I've seen that at the zoo. I've seen two <laughs> kinds of giraffes. <laughs> You've seen that at the zoo? You might have seen, you might have seen three. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. It's true. I've seen <laughs> horses that have long necks, but not giraffes, maybe. It could be llamas. <laughs> See lion, not a lion. So if it's yeah. if it's two animals, uh -huh. it's always the second animal. If it's C, <laughs> yeah. then an animal, then it gets it's always the wait. The first thing. It's like the C version, <laughs> <laughs> the C version of a lion. Well, I don't think it's and a C version of a horse. Well, it's weird because it's definitely sea lion's definitely more lion than C. water. Oh, okay. But yeah. Why is it called a seahorse? That's a bad name for it. Because it has a horse face. Ooh. No, it doesn't. What? No, it's got like a long. I guess it. Yeah. It's got like a snork face. What? If you were dumb and well, old, snorks have a think... top. Sea it's not horse. a front. I don't think it looks like. Well, I don't think it looks like a horse. Well, if you it, were dumb, and that's true. If you go back in time when people were drawing elephants and stuff, yeah. I think you'd be like, "I'm an idiot." That look at this monster. Well, because they also like in Greek face. mythology, they thought that Poseidon made yes. horses. I'm sorry, what? In Greek mythology, they thought that Poseidon made horses. The sea guy? Yeah, that makes. They thought horses sense. came from the sea. What? Poseidon, oh. big sea guy. I'm sorry. 
What makes complete sense? I was being sarcastic. Oh, God. Sorry if that didn't come across. Oh, my God. Apologies. I thought you were, like, on board with the horses well, came it, from the ocean. It was, like, mm-hmm. the, the, the it was like a whole bunch of metaphors where it's, like, the waves are, like, a rumbling horses running at the coast and, like, the horses would come out of the water. Oh, I think this might be an instance where a guy who doesn't understand subtlety thinks that people were being literal about something. I mean... You can check it. You can g- Wikipedia. It says Poseidon thought. R- right, right, right. What I'm saying is that people probably wrote like that in prose and in poetry. And uh, then a scientist read this and went, Eureka, I don't understand. Ga- like, he's like the galloping of the sea. And yeah, like, he oh. went, they must think that horses come from the water instead of that, some poet writing about how the sea is rumbling and deep and he's making connections. I probably saw a picture of a seahorse yeah. and was like, oh, Eureka. Mm-hmm. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. We talk about BetterHelp a lot on this show, and this month we're discussing some of the stigmas around mental health. We focus so often on New Year's resolutions that focus on taking care of our bodies. Why not focus on our mental health this year? A shocking amount of people still think going to therapy means there's something wrong with you or that things have reached their breaking point, but that's not true. It just means you recognize that everyone has emotions. And we just need to learn to control and healthily express them, not avoid them. So if you're struggling with anything like that at all, I know BetterHelp can help you. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Rooster Teeth Podcast listeners, that's you, you people listening right now, get 10% off their first month with BetterHelp at betterhelp.com slash rooster. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash rooster. Thanks, BetterHelp. What would you have been doing tonight if you went on this podcast? <laughs> Something a lot better. Oh, sure. really? <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't have found out about the McDonald's bridge. You wouldn't have found True. out about the boat bridge. <laughs> you have a lot less information about bridges, I'll tell you. No, but I mean, I think about weird stuff like this at home. I talk to my, I'm, you know, with my own thoughts. I, mm-hmm. I partake in the greenery of the earth, and I just sit there and think thoughts. And these are some broccoli? of them. So I'm enjoying myself. Raw broccoli. Raw, Raw broccoli. broccoli. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, watch this. If you like all these conversations and more, uh, Rooster Teeth uh, Expo tickets go on sale on uh, January 24th. Check out this lower third. <laughs> I heard the mouse click. That was great. <laughs> January 24th for first members, general public on the 26th. If you want to see whatever this has been, but in person, you can. By buying tickets and coming in July, the weekend of uh, July 4th, I think, is when we're doing RTX. (laughs) If we had this conversation in front of a live audience, it would be a riot. I think people would start (laughs) booing, throwing things at us. They'd throw us. They would start yelling, HIPPOPOTAMUS! (laughs) And then it would be like, And be like, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. At least at RTX, you'll get, like, the main cast, not not us. (laughs) So so there's that. I think Gavin will be there. I think we should just book this for a thing (laughs) at RTX and go, what happens? Just have a panel that's just we're three that, question marks. Yeah, yeah, on the we're that totally <laughs> yeah. normal, normal podcast tour. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can go to that, that QR code that was there in that lower third, and you can buy tickets on sale on the 24th uh, for first members. But you can go to rtxevent.com. Well, there it is. There's the QR code. Somebody in chat said Cole is mostly correct. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty good for this podcast. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're usually yeah. very wrong. Yeah, 75%. I'll take it. Especially for that seat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You can go to rtxevent.com and you can check out these badges, but you can also check out a uh, normal <laughs> podcast tour where we have uh, some podcasts coming to you live and direct. Like in February, we'll be taking uh, Face Jam on the road to uh, Chicago in Talia Hall. So uh, we're going to Chicago in February. That's, that, that's the podcast soon. that I've never listened to is going to Chicago? No, that no, Face the Jam. Other, the, oh, no, the podcast. other podcast you've never listened to oh. uh, is going to Chicago. <laughs> Fuck Face, maybe later in the year. Okay. Which one should she listen to first? Oh, fuck face. Oh, okay. Yeah, face jam. Okay. She just talked about eating raw broccoli because doctors told her it's better for her. We ate Applebee's Cheeto wings, so face jam is not for you, maybe. Okay. No, I've I've listened to, I've seen some of the, the video podcasts for face jam. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so I've seen a few of them. <laughs> what a review. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, I'm 
never seen that trash garbage no. idiots? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Uh -huh. I was just saying like I've seen it, but I haven't listened yeah. to Fuckface. So, well, or, I mean, Bleepface. So well, if you want to see uh, this <laughs> podcast with uh, the reg most of the regular crew, uh, <laughs> but you want to see it live uh, in uh, on the anniversary of this company on April first, we're gonna be doing a live podcast from uh, Stateside Theater. You got rtxevent.com, check out the normal podcast tour. Uh, we're gonna have more dates announced for more podcasts through the year, like one a month. Podcast tour is not the right term uh, for what's happening, but we are doing some live shows for podcasts around the United <laughs> Extravaganza, States. Extravaganza, right? Yeah. It's a yeah. podcast extravaganza. Yeah. If extravaganza means one a month every month for a different show every month. That's kind of a tour. Is it? No. Also, sorry, this podcast has been bad. So apologies. <laughs> this is the second time I'm going to say this to Jessica today. You don't have to apologize, like, oh, yeah. ever to anyone. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you would apologize for, not just this, fuck this, who cares about this? In general, <laughs> just don't apologize. Yeah, to, I love that. Yeah, never mind, fuck all you guys. I, yeah. I take it back. Wait, fuck them or us? Yeah. <laughs> you and them. Wow. Uh. <laughs> go, just going for it. <laughs> the very pro Jessica yeah. chat is suddenly just like, I don't know how I feel about her now. <laughs> Yeah, I like how. You know what? I changed my mind. Yeah, I like how that it was bitch. like trying on a pair of shoes that she thought were a little too cool for her. She went, yeah, yeah, fuck you. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is similar to the stuff we talk about. Yeah. Outside of work. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I even when we do talk, we're not intoxicated on anything. We just have these thoughts. You don't know that. Mm. Yeah, you could be eating raw broccoli with garlic powder. That's true. <laughs> Off my rum on the broccoli. Can you put alcohol on the broccoli? Uh, put like rum or Ooh, what would go? Doesn't... What would pair well with raw broccoli? I think that all gin. sounds like disgusting. I, I mean, gin would probably because it's botanical is yeah. probably the closest. I would think fireball. <laughs> that made my that made my stomach oh, yeah. do a flip. Oh, God. That made oh, no. Everyone loves that I'm telling them to go like fuck themselves. I mean, you guys love torture and being treated like shit. <laughs> okay, I actually do love it. Look at it. Hey, yeah. you worms. I'm gonna Look step on you. Yeah, say you want to be stepped on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Send me a pair of heels. I will absolutely step on anyone. Wow. Let's do it. RTX. Yeah. There was at RTX. Yeah, I'll do it at RTX. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a uh, somebody that I knew, friend of a friend. Who was like, um, she was doing like sugar baby stuff where like a guy would like pay for her to like go on shopping trips and stuff. And I'm mm -hmm. like, whoa, that's crazy. Do you have to like be mean to him and mm. do like crazy shit or whatever? She's like, no, he just gives me money. And I went, that's, I need to figure out. How I to, think they're just looking the, for companionship. That's like the cool, she's like, I've never met him. And I'm like, that's the coolest fucking thing I've ever heard. They never like, met? No. Oh. They oh, just no, have wow. some kind of like, I'm like, oh, is this like an illicit affair? Like, whatever. And she's Can like, you give me her no. number? Right? Yeah. That's All you gotta crazy. do is just go onto Twitter and just say, looking for a sugar daddy, and like, there's a, it's like a trigger word that sends everyone to you. It's a trigger word that sends, you should try it later. I don't, they, I will. I, I'm not the client that we're looking for. <laughs> no. You could be. I could catfish, but. I mean, you never know. I think there's a little special something for everybody out hmm. there. That's true. So, hmm. you know. I just think getting paid is fucking cool. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. any way you can do it. Yeah. It rules. Yeah, hell yeah. And it's not even like sex work. No. Technically. It's I had just... a friend that did that too. She would just really? go to dinner with um just just men, different men and uh she would always tell a friend that mm -hmm. she was at a restaurant and she would always kind of like sit in the corner. Mm -hmm. And it was just dinner and he would bring an envelope and just pay her, but he just was like looking for somebody to talk to and and just chat with, have dinner with and that wow. was it. And she was making really good money doing it. Did she it. like doing it? She said that she liked it when there was nothing else more involved. So if it, it was, was just, just dinner, dinner. Mm -hmm. there was she and she always, you know, um, up front was like, this is it. It's just dinner. I'll mm -hmm. go. Yeah, I'll go shopping with you. We'll go hang out. Mm -hmm. But that's it. That's Which it. it's super innocent. You know, you're just kind of like, and, like and he was an older man. So mm -hmm. I think he I think his wife had passed. And so he was just looking for companionship. Huh. It's like an entire industry in Japan, like rent a girlfriends or rent a boyfriend. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. It's like, oh, for the day, I'm going to rent this person, and then you meet up and go, and they have to report, like, okay, we went here and did this. Huh. How, how much That's interesting. has this pandemic stopped you from being in Japan? I feel like you- Whoa! <laughs> we were Boy, we were talking Boy. about that before! I feel like for a lot of people, yeah. everyone's just like, 
waiting for well, Japan to be so a thing again. I was supposed to go March 19th. The pandemic hit on March 18th. <laughs> <laughs> That sucks. We haven't. It's been a year of this. Yeah. Yeah. There's also I have I have bigger plans mm -hmm. of going out there for a more extended period. Uh, I want to try to go to like a, a language school there, mm. and that's been frozen for uh, eight months now. Mm -hmm. So you're just in yeah. like a limbo. Yep. Yeah. It's been, so I've been there. It's not it's not great. Cole and I uh, see each other like every Saturday. We play baseball, yeah. and it will be just occasionally there will be days where he'll come on Saturday and just go. It's all fucked up. I'm not going to Japan right now. And yeah. it was like, it would be once every probably two and a half or three months. Yeah. Where we'd be like, he's ramping up. He's ramping up. He's getting close. Oh, man, we only got a few left. And then he would come and go like, never mind. Yeah. Like, you know the feeling when you know you're going to move house. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. stop, like, doing stuff for you. Like, yeah. like I'm yes. not going to put this picture up. I'll just keep it on the floor until yep. I move. And, yep. and then you sort of end up with a big stack of shit mm -hmm. that you probably should have just put up. Yep. When you're about to switch countries and you know it's coming, but because <laughs> of other circumstances it gets mm -hmm. dragged on for years you leave a, a very weird and sort of like <laughs> piled up life of just yes like, it is should i invest in this no nope. well, so Probably like the, the most recent time that it got canceled uh the day before i was shopping for apartments <clears throat> and um was packing up my room like so i have a bunch of just of like my anime figures and stuff in boxes <laughs> And so I was like, I'm not unpacking. <laughs> like, I'm like, this, I, I did myself a favor and packed for the future. I also desperately need to buy a new bed, but I... I You've can't. just spent for a year, yeah. you have anime toys that you have not seen since it March. It kills me. It kills me. And then you don't, and then you have I know my children are in hiding, and I... <laughs> Cole, Cole, just, just get them out. If you unpack... What's the worst thing that can happen? Suddenly you can go to Japan, and you're like... Better pack it, but at least yeah, then you're going. True. The it's moment true. you unpack them is the moment it all. Yep, it hits. could be the moment I uh, put the last one yep. on the shelf. Like, ah, <laughs> what's that? Oh, <laughs> come back. All right. <laughs> I think that's win win. And, but yeah. then what's going to happen is as soon as I put it back in the box, it gets canceled. Oh, absolutely. Again. 100%. How about this? Get there. Mm -hmm. I'll go to your apartment, pack all your shit up, and I'll just send it. Oh, that's probably yeah, the nicest good. thing you've ever said or done for anybody. Oh, if it's weird, I'll I'll do it. Yeah. I'll help you out. If it's like a bizarre favor that no one should really <laughs> offer, I'll be on yeah, I'm, I'm moving countries. I really need <laughs> to get back to my anime pictures. <laughs> I, I can't miss <laughs> this oh, date. God. I have to go now. <laughs> what? But I had to trick myself into being able to go. Because <laughs> if I packed them, I'd get canceled. <laughs> I feel like if I pack up before I go to Japan, God will be mad at me. So I need you to pack everything up for me. Yeah. Like God is just like looking over yeah. the earth and, and then he just sees Cole already in Japan. He's like, what? <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> and he goes and checks. He's like, wait, his fingers are still at home. No! <laughs> God damn me, damn it! <laughs> damn me. me. Damn it. I That's actually a have idea. a trip planned to England for most of the month. Uh, actually, just the UK in general. I'm going to go to Scotland as well. You need me to pack anything for For, you? Uh, for April? <laughs> Pack her anime figures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I have I have a refundable ticket because I mean if if COVID's still raging like this, I'm not gonna go. Mm -hmm. So who I have no Good idea. Deal. Yeah. Do you have any Funko Pops? I personally don't. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of them. I, I don't didn't like think you them. Were. I, that's why I was asking because if you said yes, <clears throat> that would have been very disappointing. Like, no, they would have just been like shocked. I would have been like Jessica has Funko Pops. What like, do you think I have? Just in general, tiny figurines like little things, and then a lot of, of like. Like, I think that you either have spoons or fans. Um, I have spoons that I eat with. Well, I think we all have Eric. spoons that we eat with, Jessica. Do you think I collect we spoons? We had a whole, yeah, I thought maybe you have some kind of thing. We had a whole decorative, thing on this my, podcast. My grandma, with a tablespoon or a teaspoon. My grandma has decorative spoons. She has, like, See? from, like, Indiana yeah. or, I thought maybe like, you had, like, Egypt. You're like, like this is a thing Do that I give I did you that vibe? <laughs> well, I just thought <laughs> it was, like, a Egypt. thing where you're like, I did this with my grandma and I have these spoons. That's the kind of, like... You know like, what, Eric? I don't have any spoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that no. like fans. I, fans. I don't have any fans either. Mm -hmm. I, I do like have a, a lip. I have some yeah, like figurines of Wonder Woman. Okay. But obviously. Uh huh. So um, what's the thing you collect? I don't know if I really collect anything. Okay. Smart, what's your good. hobbies? I don't like yeah, what's your a hobbies? bunch of clutter. Yeah, what are you into? Uh, well, recently I've been spending my evenings trying to get my own personal projects off the ground. I want to make movies and well, tell stories I mean, and stuff. Yeah, but like that's not Funko Pops. Like, what's your other? Oh, pops? totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I scream at the top of my lungs as often as I can. Oh. AKA, I try and sing oh. constantly. Oh. Uh, yeah. It. Me and Devin, we fight over nights where we can both sing in the house because he thinks that he can sing, he cannot. 
and I think I can sing, and he thinks that I can't sing. Uh-huh. So there's just okay. Next week, yeah, Devin and Jessica will sing off. Set up we'll a little s- mic. Oh, we'll sing s- off. We'll have a vote. Well, who's the best? Yeah, what are you singer? doing on Wednesday? We I guess pre-tape this. this. Thing. Okay, yeah, cool. let's do it. We got we got to pre-tape this next one. So what I'll song up, should I sing? We'll set up. I, that's up to you. I'm not going to make us. What do you want me to sing? Prayer. I love that song. But I mean, I just, don't know how, I just don't know how we can show it on the podcast, but we're going Ooh, to. Oh, we have Ruby songs. Yeah, there's that one that says fuck a bunch <laughs> right before we go live. The Ruby songs have some high notes in they there, do. man. Mm-hmm. There's some high notes. I'm trying to figure out which Ruby song is the most twerkable. Twerkable? Yeah, which one? So if I'm so singing, you guys singing, will be twerking? twerking? Dope. Yeah. Hmm. I'll I like be back this up plan. The answer. No, Let's okay. do it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can set this up with Devin and see if we can get a mic. I just don't know yeah. how we're going to show it on the podcast. Yeah. But we will have a, we have like a lot of people. We can vote. Suppose yeah. there's a voting feature. Well, right, but we won't be live because it'll be okay. Vote now on... if you think who is better. <laughs> Your solution <laughs> for not being live sense, for Gavin. next week is to vote now a, the week before we have the contest. Well, we can do a then. karaoke stream. Would someone wrote karaoke stream? That would be really. We fun. can record multiple versions uh-huh. of the finale. Uh huh. <laughs> and. Have the like whoever wins, we have the vote, and then we have uh, someone from broadcast. Sorry, uh, you oh, have yeah. to uh, like they do on The Apprentice and yeah. stuff. It's you like realize this pretend is you, to win. The Apprentice, I realized that's what I was saying. I was like, I could be stuck doing <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just boned yourself. What's the song that you sing the most? She was yelling me about. The well, he brought up what? The Apprentice, and I was like, that one Trump show. But I you haven't, haven't seen that one. I've seen like the Alan Sugar one. See, I don't. I didn't even know that Alan the UK Sugar? had their He's own a different version. Nightmare different. Billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really? Yeah. I was like, you watched mm. the Trump Show? Ugh. I never seen that one. Mm. No, I haven't either. I saw it back in the day, but not anytime recently. Also, anyway, what I think they do is that because it's, uh, they don't decide until it airs, uh, they film two mm. endings. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, well, we could do like what they do in like HGTV, where we already know who the winner is, but then we we make people think we don't know who the winner is. I feel like that's kind of what Gavin just posited by saying just vote before we even do the contest. I also watch a lot of documentaries and paint. I don't know. You paint? Do you collect art? What do you paint? Do you paint I do like do you paint collecting. Ducks like okay, this? you're right. Okay, we found it. Touché. Touché. Okay, yeah, I do love going to <clears throat> little cute spots and getting uh, like independent art and stuff like that from mm-hmm. from local artists too. So yeah, if I could cover my entire wall space at my house with really cool, interesting art, I would for sure. Okay, yeah. Um. Anyway, at what point do you yell at us for singing? Is it when it's in a tune? Or I, is it the words? I think it's any of it, really. I don't think so. If I was like, please don't. Or do I? Hey, you know what? At this point, what if I told it a story? Like I had a friend called Tommy, uh-huh. and he used to work on the docks. Uh huh. My gosh. But the union. What happened? What, the union. Something happened. <laughs> I think they were. On- <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. I thought you were gonna say he was a pinball wizard, but that's all oh. there. That's a different Tommy, I suppose. How many Tommy songs are there? Two. <laughs> I think that's it. And then they'll, they'll announce the third one. Yeah. <laughs> out of nowhere. Like a giraffe. Like a giraffe. And you announce the third Tommy song. Stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> we don't need it. Okay, so singing, collecting but, paintings. What was the other thing that you said? Arguing. Arguing? Yeah. Documentaries. I love oh, watching documentaries. documentaries. Man, there's so many like ancient Egypt documentaries out there that are just fascinating. Mm-hmm. And about space and time. You, you messaged me so much about <laughs> space. And if you've watched a documentary what? about space or time, because we talk about we love Jessica. Interstellar, and uh-huh. so like anytime I like anything space and time related, I find out new information, or like there's a new planet that's been found, or like a telescope out there has taken a new picture. I'm like, yo, Gavin, look at this. <laughs> I like the moment just... when we were watching Interstellar. It was like right after the docking scene, and we were just both like watching because it's like a very intense scene. And after it was over, it goes very quiet, and we just went. But also, <laughs> Wes Ellis uh, and his friend Randy, that everyone knows, oh, yeah. they, I don't know if you might have been there, but he showed Interstellar to I Randy remember, I, for the I first time. Yeah. I wasn't, you were there? I was there, that's, yeah. boy, that's great. But you saw, did you see the video? Oh, yeah. And it was that docking scene where Randy is just it staring. Is. Randy the- <laughs> is like if a golden retriever was a human man. <laughs> yeah. So he was watching it like the way a dog watches a duck on TV. Yeah. yeah. Like where it was like. And it's the docking scene, especially, yes. It was so fucking fired in, it was incredible. I mean, that, yeah, <laughs> that I think anytime you're watching Interstellar, that scene, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. For I, sure. I, I first online. watched that movie in the front row of the IMAX. Oh my god! <laughs> and, uh, it was one of the most intense, I thought my heart was gonna pop. I was just like... 
his movie <laughs> should not sick? be watched at IMAX front row. No, no. I don't think anything no. should be IMAX front I row. I don't Dunkirk. know why there's a front row. I, I saw know, Dunkirk I, at IMAX front row, and it was awful. Oh, my God. I saw, I saw I watched, Dunkirk uh, in IMAX, but not in the front row. So I watched Good. Dark Knight the second time. The first time I just saw in theaters, like the, the night it opened, <clears> and then I saw IMAX Dark Knight, and I was in the first row. And it's just, I remember the scene where uh, uh, Gordon is talking to like the like the mayor the the commissioner at the time or whatever and it's just the cuts back and forth and I'm doing I, <laughs> <laughs> that was uh that was an intense yeah. viewing experience yeah. I don't think I could ever do that again no it was a lot Oh, but watching Interstellar front row in IMAX, yeah, I would have a heart attack for sure. I thought that the, like, the, the walls completely... and ceiling were about to get ripped yeah. off. Like, <laughs> I, was, I was so overwhelmed. I think watching Interstellar front row in IMAX feels like watching anything 4DX <laughs> okay. in the front row. Like when we saw Fast and Furious and they just kept shooting smoke and everyone in the front row was going, because <laughs> they couldn't see anything because smoke was just billowing at them. Yeah, Quest and they would... 40x? What? Can you request a movie in 40x? I don't think so. Well, I think it has to be, they have to like program yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think it's just they it. put it there and then they shake you around. Mm -hmm. It's like tied to it. If, mm -hmm. if the movie's not programmed, they just like stick it on random. Yeah. It's like, right. <laughs> it's like a really a deep like, and sex we'll scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what if it was like all sexy as your chair starts to like... Do you think like, that would be too much if during a sex scene time. you got sprayed? <laughs> Wait, say that again? What? <laughs> Wait, no, what? I really didn't hear you. What? what? Yeah, well, a sex scene and getting sprayed, is like that what if, you said? Would you be... Would that be too much? Like, if they actually sprayed the water on your face during a sex scene? Yes. Well, is no, she... Is who is getting sprayed in the face in the show? Or is it... It's not, they, they don't show, like... Yeah, don't you don't know. see like dick going in and right, a movie. right. I Typically, what you're both describing is pornography, which is not shown <laughs> in movie forty X with pornography. That's Typically. what we're saying. <laughs> 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 this rhythm sucks. <laughs> just like trying to check your phone, just like oh, <laughs> finish. <laughs> but he's saying in a sex scene, like would they spray? But I'm like most sex scenes I've seen, I don't ever see the guy like take his dick see out. See the guy? No, but you, why you do you have to be sprayed with it? Because it's not being sprayed like in the movie. Well, sometimes you see if someone finish in a movie, no, they yeah. don't show the junk. But they're pro they're finishing in what? What movie are you watching where somebody's finishing? Evangelion. <laughs> the people have. <laughs> if okay, I will say if they show Evangelion in 4DX and Shinji comes in his hand, I say spray spray me in the face. <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> They shag in that car. Yeah. You don't yeah. see anyone finish. They should put yeah, see, this is what I'm stop. They should do this steam is what I'm... in the mood in the room. All do the you steam. think stopping is finishing? Well, it should be, ideally. <laughs> <laughs> Different terms. <laughs> Different terms. <laughs> hey, can I guess can I guess star? I don't know. On fuckface? Let me let me come in. No, let we don't do in. guess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Just just three white men. That's fine. That's what's up. I, one's from Canada. You can ar you can. What? <laughs> <laughs> one is from Canada. You can argue with it, but I don't think you can argue with the numbers. Oh man. Yeah. It it is staggering how many people listen to this podcast that I can't describe to anyone and never tell anyone about. It's weird to have a podcast at this point where we really don't talk about anything. Proper, yeah. in, but you can't just jump in anymore. No, it's like a thick law. I would love to, to nothing. I would love to see somebody try to jump in now. Just get. Hey, I'll be the are, guinea pig, man. I'd say listen to it. the newest. Ep Wait until the new one comes out. I know right. someone who jumped in on because apparently there was something in the subreddit. It was uh -huh. like this is the funniest episode ever, and it's, it was the broken piece the of broken shit one. one. Yeah, the person who had never listened to an episode before uh -huh. said they listened to it and said it was the worst thing I ever listened yes. to. Yes, you spend. The first 10 minutes talking about printing the law without ever explaining what that means. Because that came from the previous episode. Then we talk about a picture <laughs> from the previous episode. <laughs> on an audio- Not only is it an audio podcast where you can't see a picture, it's a picture from last time. And then, there was like a third thing and I was like, yeah, on- on paper, that's- that's a really bad one. <laughs> Overwhelming vocal support for this episode <laughs> where Andrew called in on three or four <laughs> different devices, so his microphone is never consistent because the law fucked up his computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So wait for the next one and then 
have okay. a shot. Sit down and okay. go, what's this about? What's all this then? <laughs> is what you can say. And then you can listen to it and go, they sure are talking about the tuxedo a lot. <laughs> and then you go, It oh, sounds that like was a, a sex movie. position or mm. something. Wait, with Jackie Chan? Uh-huh. Oh, I remember that. What do you think? I liked it when I saw it, but I was like 12, so. Mm. <laughs> cool. Mm. There you have it. Good deal. <laughs> what about you, Jessica? What do you think about the tuxedo with Jackie Chan? I haven't seen it. Okay. So wait, Jennifer Love Hewitt's in it. In order to watch, like in order to listen to Fuck Face, does she need to watch the tuxedo first? No, that's no, some, well for one of them maybe. That's some content later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. So don't watch the tuxedo. Copy that. We'll let you know when you need to watch the tuxedo. You should Great. probably put a disclaimer at the beginning of the episode mm -hmm. that somebody needs to watch the tuxedo. Mm -hmm. The thing that we have been doing with the podcast that I've really liked is Jack will record a thing about what he thinks the podcast is going to be about each episode. <laughs> that was the other thing that the person said, because that was another visual yeah. joke. So it was like, thing that happened last time, uh -huh. visual joke that happened last time, visual joke. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, this is the worst podcast ever. Jack goes into the chat and just sees what we were typing while we were doing this podcast yeah. and tries to piece it together. Yeah. He's close sometimes, and he's never right. Yeah, so we have him record the next week on... Yeah. Based on <laughs> what we've on? left yeah. in Discord. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a lot of the time he's pretty close, a lot of the time he's way off. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. It's really something. I my, my favorite thing is people now saying, Hey, can you put that at the beginning of each episode? <laughs> like, it, like, you can't just... Go back to uh -huh. the other one uh -huh. at the end? Just on your... Just <laughs> on your... On your tab, just back. Right, because if you're binging them, uh -huh. which is... When we stop, Correct. all you'll be able to do. Uh -huh. Do you really want to hear it twice? Do you no. want to hear it and then hear it again the no. next time? No. Mm -mm. You want it at the end of the other one. I agree. Yeah. And we're not going to put it at the beginning of the next one. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can, I can see why people are saying it, but it's like... I can't. It's Terrible quite idea. easy to find. Terrible idea. <laughs> we're going to listen to these people. It's only if you're listening week to week. That's yeah. the only benefit to you then. It's like watching Lost when it was yeah. on. It's like, God, what, what happened? Now, what about if you did it previously on? That's a good show. It's the last time. Previously on? Yeah. Who would do that? Mm, what if you got like Black Crystal? Just <laughs> he's just picking people. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think he was actually gonna give an answer. Yeah. So what? We would get BK <laughs> to read the disc, the same Discord chat read for next week. Yeah. yeah. She would do it for last week. Right. Yeah. What do you think we <laughs> she she would say the same. She would probably they would Except just do it, and she would say this week on instead of next time on, and then she would well, do previously it on. Right. Right. She would do pre. But okay. This rules. Yeah. yeah, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> this is too so, much work. So she would do last week so we, on at the yes, beginning. Yeah, yeah, and she would see what we put in the chat for the last time. Yeah. But so then if she's not right. That wouldn't tell, that no, still wouldn't give you the information no, you're after for this one. Correct. We should do it. No, yeah. we shouldn't. BK? I don't want to. This is more <laughs> work. This sucks. I feel like I'm the meme with like all the math problems coming <laughs> in my face right now. I'm just like, oh, I you don't understand a... what we're doing? No. Okay, what are we doing? What I does said, Jack do for? I said the I don't understand. What well, you're no. Doing. What do you think he does? We're doing what <laughs> Jack does for. Yeah, um, so he's a, is he listening to the previous podcast or whatever? And he's a, see, I don't. No. He's reading the chat log of what they sent on Discord to each other. Okay, so he's not reading. I thought he was reading the chat of this, yeah. but just to you, to each other. Okay, mm -hmm. that's even more chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. And then Cole's idea is to have BK <laughs> do the same thing, but for the previous episode and say last previously on. Yeah, except she only met us like a couple of months ago. Right. I, I assume has no idea who Andrew is. <laughs> absolutely insane choice to throw into this thing. Fantastic. I like it. I like it. Well, you should ask her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm in broadcast now, so <laughs> hey, I got, a, I got a question. You want to do something? Well, there you have it. Um, <laughs> I think we should wrap this episode up and go to the post show. Uh, I just I love the idea of a <laughs> next time on and a previously on that never took place. It just <laughs> trying to catch it. So what's this podcast? It's like going, what happened last time? And none of it's right. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't like Lost while it was on. That was the best viewing experience. I think wait, who said that? Show him. You didn't yeah, like Lost. It was. It's a much better binge. No, I disagree. I think. Oh, the, I binged it. Yeah, I didn't see the when best, it was live. The, I think the best. I watched thing... it when it was live, and I binged it a decade later. Yeah, way better later. I'm ready for programming to start being made for binging. 
I don't think I think I... I think most content is made for binging at this point. How mm -hmm. is something not made for binging? Because I think they like put mysteries and stuff in where like week to week you're supposed to be like, oh, what's what's gonna happen, and then you're supposed to talk about it for a week. Because that's what I think you're saying. You that's like about yeah, Lost. that's what I loved about Lost. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, think... but you don't actually talk about it for a whole week. You talk about it for like twenty minutes after. At, at Mega sixty four during binge, we talked about it for yep. so long. All the time, constantly. <laughs> like, it was like this podcast when Lost was on, where it just was Lost talk. That full episodes of the Mega 64 podcast were the same thing, where it'd be like, okay, but what about now what's Sawyer up to? I and remember man. being in school, and they put out a trailer for season two of Lost. Mm -hmm. And it was like very fast cut. And then I think there was like a clip of Desmond doing like the fail safe yeah. switch. Mm -hmm. And we were there were like three frames of it in the trailer. We were like, frame by frame like what is he doing mm -hmm. who is that mm -hmm. what's going on maybe it's season three i don't know Incredible. and it's like you're talking to that group about it then you talk to someone else about yeah. it and it's like a week of you <clears throat> catching up with everyone mm -hmm. that's like what was but so that was that it. time that was a long time ago now yeah. i feel yeah i don't yeah. watch anything now i don't watch anything anymore oh no. you don't watch any tv no not really because what, think... oh, what are your favorite shows you don't watch i watch professional wrestling and that's about it uh Hell yeah sports okay. i watch sports yeah I watch yeah. baseball yeah. so a mask Mm. Uh, yeah, I've made a bunch. I love that. I think oh, that's super cute. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cute. Who's your favorite sewing YouTuber? Uh, I don't have a favorite sewing YouTuber, but there are a bunch of uh, sped up videos of guys <laughs> in Mexico making masks, and I have to slow them down and go frame by frame. You like me with a Lust trailer. Yeah, it's absolutely. <laughs> and I just went, why is he doing a failsafe? What is this? And then that's how that's how I learn. Hmm. Uh -huh. There's a how do you feel about YouTube getting rid of the downvote? I don't give a fuck. Uh, okay, because I don't know if I don't know if like you. Well, I don't know if you use that to like. <clears throat> I didn't use the downvote ever. I mean, yeah, well, I, I, I don't I'm saying You as a viewer going and mm -hmm. seeing, okay, is this an actual tutorial? Or is this somebody fucking around? Uh, you know how yeah. I figure that out? I go skip, skip, skip. Yeah. Nothing here, and then I go to the next video, yeah. like I always did. Yeah. Never have used the downvote feature at all. I don't yeah. care. Doesn't don't mean care. anything to me. Yeah. I like how how upset it made Reddit. A, a platform that is all about up and down votes. <laughs> Imagine if Reddit got rid of the down vote. I don't know where anyone would go to go, what happened? Dig, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, we should wrap this up. We should, oh, okay. we should end this and go to the post show. If you like what you've seen so far, become a first member and then you can watch the post show, which I don't know what it is. Every week will be like this. <laughs> you want to you go in, eat on a bridge? Yeah, no, go right. to Oklahoma. Let's do it. It's for the bridges. <laughs> all right. See it is a bridge. Go to rtxevent.com and then buy tickets for RTX. Goodbye.